Hello guys, this is Brian, back with another video, and this video um, we're discussing um, about why it's important that teens listen uh, to the parents, and you know, it's very important because when we listen to our parents, we're able to listen better also to our Heavenly Father who loves us. You know what I mean? Our parents love us too. And Heavenly Father takes things, has extra things that he can provide for us, you know, as we listen to our parents and taking in their wisdom so that way we can live a long life. Because when we're not listening to our parents or listen to somebody that truly loves us, then we get hold to something that can put us in harm's way. And it's so important that we we listen, you know, listen and also take in that what is going to help us along the way. And let's get into prayer before we get started. Heavenly Father, just thank you for um, this topic about um, why it's important for teenagers to listen, Lord, um, to their parents, and knowing that it, it pleases you, Lord that we listen to our parents. And Lord, I just pray that you just help uh, the teenagers out, th out here to know how important it is to listen. So that way, when the, our Heavenly Father is calling us and we recognize His voice, because we have listened to our parents and knowing how to interact with you, God, because you are Heavenly Father. And Lord God, uh, Holy Spirit, come into this room. God, me and lead me on the words that you want me to say for the teenagers out here, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And let's get into it. So, on Google research, it said, uh, why it's important for teenagers to listen. And I'm also telling my story as well. Um, the Bible says that teens should listen to their parents because they can help guide them and provide them, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, prevent them from making mistakes that could harm their lives. The Bible says that parents have more experience and wisdom that teens that teens and that they uh I'm sorry and they love their children the most. I'm gonna read that again. If you hear bells in the background, uh, it's just a um, cat. Uh, she has a bell on her collar. Let me close this. I'll read it again. Um, the Bible says that teens 
should listen to their parents because they can help guide them and prevent them from making mistakes that could harm their lives. The Bible says that parents have more experience and wisdom than teens and that they and they love their children the most and scriptures about why it's important for teens to listen and this is coming from the bible um from google search here are some bible verses that discuss listening to parents um ex the first one is exodus chapter 20 verse 12 exodus chapter 20 verse 12 and it says the f um the fifth of god's ten commandments says honor your mother and f and father honor your mother and father and that's you know i mean that's part of the the children teens foundation to honor their mother and father and Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 says listen my son to your father instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching you know and let's start let's talk about the first two about honor your mother and father and we listen to our father instructions and we listen to our, our mother's teaching so like with my life i'm just sharing my life when i was a teen because i'm 35 right now so when i was a teen um god rest my father rest in peace i mean he did um uh, what he could you know um we seen each other here and there but I, uh, our relationship got better before he died and and i'm thankful for that so growing up i grew up with um i grew up around women you know what i mean my mom and my two grandmas um i didn't get a male figure in my life until i was 16 and that was my pastor pastor kevin aldermello so we never know who is going to be in our life you know what i mean that truly loves us um and wants to protect us and do the right thing by us because they want to see us grow because it could be your mom it could be your dad it could be your grandma you know what i mean somebody that's that's giving us the instructions that wisdom you know because i remember when uh with my mom and about what it talks about uh not forsake your mom's teachings so one thing that always stuck out to my mom was to take care of my sister no matter what um and also um when i was like knee high my mom used to take me in duke energy like to pay the bill and I look around i'm like the only kid around that's have a duke energy bill ready to pay the bill and um my mom had me doing that every single time and to this day you know i don't have trouble paying bills um uh, because one thing my mom always told always told me take care of your bills first then do whatever you have left then do what you want you take care of your bills first your basic things you know the, the um the the rent or the mortgage you take care of your lights water gas all the different things that's the basic needs for as we have a roof over our head and we put some money back to save then whatever you got left you you do what you want you, you know what I mean? You take care of your personal needs, your 
get, make sure you get deodorant, body wash, and all that good stuff. Toothpaste and all that, making sure you get that. And you put money back and then you do what you want. And since I've always been doing that, of paying my bills first, then making sure that I put money back to save and then also, and then what I want to do with the rest, you know, and I have not had an issue because my bills have been, you know, done on time. I mean, here and there, I mean, you're going to have mistakes. You're going to you be like, oh man, I can't pay this right now. You know, it's life. Um, but you don't, you know what I mean? Don't let it get you down. Um, Ephesians chapter 6, 2 to 3, and it says, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise, so that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on earth so when we honor our mother and father as a teenager let's put the roof over our head and they're working hard as they can to provide because they they don't know with love you know smiling and happy when you when you was a baby and still smiling and happy as you continue to grow and it's important as teenagers that we listen to our parents because so that way because of the wisdom that they have or what they've been through yeah we're living in different generations but a piece of that wisdom will go far in our life as we have listened to, to a mother, our father, our grandparents, our aunts or uncle, just giving the instructions and guiding us along the way. But when we try to sit there to do what we want to do, and we're going to get burned. Then we're coming back to our parents saying, I'm sorry. Because I remember when I was 16, just wanted to do what I want to do. And I remember um, when I was, I, we skipped school then. When they go smoke, that's when I, I was smoking, but I don't smoke no more. And skips skipping school and uh, went out of care in the world, making a making that choice to do that. And you know when our parents be telling us to not do certain things because they don't want us to go down a road where it's gonna cost us. And we have to own up to our mistake. You know what I mean? I had to own up my mistake. You know, because it took me a while to ask my mom for forgiveness. Because, you know what I mean? I put her through that hurt because, I mean, in her eyes, she probably, she never thought I would do something like that. And our parents be surprised, you know what I mean, of the things that we, we think that they don't think we know we're doing. But they watching us. Praying for us, you know, because as a, um, teenagers, don't think that is nobody out there that loves you. It's people around you that loves you. It's people around you that's praying for you. You know, you you're better than those pills. You're better than those alcohol.
You know, you're, you're better than that. And you're better than being, being in the game. And another part on here on, on Google research, some ways teens can honor their parents includes giving them their full attention when they are speaking. You know what I mean? We, we get, as a teenager, you give your parents or somebody that's trying to give you advice because they, they see a road that you're going down, even though you don't see it. Because you might say, oh, you don't know me. But we, you don't know what our parents went through because they haven't told us, you know. But if they're trying to help you to not go down that road, they might have went through similar route, but not the same thing. But as we just listen, and it will help us. Not uh, not to storm out the house because I, I remember doing that as a as a teenager. I didn't want to hear what my mom wanted to say and storm out the house. But who is it hurting? Yeah, it's hurting both of us. But who is going to hurt the most? Us, uh, you know what I mean? As the as the teenager, it's going to hurt our parents and our grandparents, whoever we. They trying to get our attention, but the choice that we make is going to hurt us more because we're making that decision to do whatever. And the next one, respecting what they ask them to do. Respecting what they ask them to do. We respect our parents. We listen to our parents. We respect our parents. And what they ask us to do. Because those instructions, those teachings, and when they're trying to help us to put it into action, to help us to improve, Help us to see how great we can become. But if we're not listening and respecting them, we're going to lack those things that we need to develop. Because our parents has those wisdoms, our grandparents has those wisdoms, wisdom, so that way we can, so we can grow. So we be able to grow. And that's just what the Heavenly Father is we not listening to our earthly parents. We're not gonna listen to our Heavenly Father. If we're not if we're not um respecting our our parents, we're not gonna respect our Heavenly Father, you know. Because what we doing to our parents, we're going to do to our Heavenly Father. And if we showing love to our parents, respecting our parents, we're going to love God and respect God. You know? Because... Yeah, teenagers, you going through pressure. You going through trying to figure out identity, trying to figure out where to go, where I belong. But who are we listening to? Are we listening to a home at home? Are we listening? at the streets 
Are we listening listening at church? Who are we listening to? Because the decision that we make is on us. And we're too amazing to go down a road that we don't need to go down. Because God wants to see all, all teenagers, you know, to do great things. He loves you. And I love you too. So, what, another thing on, on Google about teens need to uphold the wisdom of mom and dad. So, as teenagers, we need to hold on to that wisdom. The wisdom that mom and dad gave or the wisdom that the grand, our grandparents gave. Because, you know what I mean, not everybody has... Um, their mom, or not everybody has their dad, or, you know what I mean? But the person that God has put in our life that's truly want the best for us. To help us grow. And you might say, you may say, like, how can I honor my mother and father? How can I when I'm going through this situation? Going through that situation. They're not here. They abandoned me. And life is not easy. But our Heavenly Father loves you. Because the Heavenly Father said that he will be the father to the fatherless. And teens, if you feel like alone and you don't have nobody to talk to, you really do. You really have somebody to talk to. And it's our Heavenly Father. If we just give him a chance. In, in your life. So that way. He can show you. That you do not belong on the streets. So that he can show you. How great and wonderful that you are. Wonderfully made that you are. And help you to understand your identity. You know, because when I was a teenager, I mean, I had a hard time with, when I was a teenager, you know what I mean, I had a hard time with confidence in myself, thinking, you know what I mean, I wasn't good enough to do certain things, because I remember I tried out for the football team when I was in middle school. And I didn't have nobody to encourage me. Um, to try again, because I didn't make the team. So, you know what I mean? I didn't have nobody to encourage me after that. And I felt, you know what I mean? It, it feels bad when you didn't make the team, because, you know what I mean? You tried your best. But this was at a time that I found out, found out after that um, I had an eye disease that was causing me to um, be legally blind. And 
it's always something amazing that God wants us to do as we just allow him to show us. You know? And I remember um, being a teen, um, a lot of emotions, you know? Um, just trying to figure out life. Cause I remember when I was fourteen, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be on the, on Earth. Cause I felt like I didn't belong. But it's like when you listen to people that love you, your your mom, your dad, your grandparents. And you get to, and you hear from their voice of, you know, you are special. You, you can become stronger. This is not the way. Of making that decision, you know. Because when I gave my life to Christ, when I was 16, you know, that changed my life. I got to understand who I am as a child of God. Was it easy? No. Because when you become a child of God, um, if there's any teenagers out here that want to become a child of God, you know what I mean? It's not going to be easy. Because your friends start looking at you differently. Because you're not you're not part of sin anymore. You set apart. That make that make us better, no better than anybody. Because it, um, sin it reigns on the just and the unjust. But it's just amazing when you feel you feel that, that love that you were missing. That peace that you was missing. That comfort that you were missing. And I'm sorry that um, the different things that you've been through. Because I can only imagine how many tears you has has fallen and the secrets that you are holding and maybe still holding but God when you call on Jesus he will set us free when we call on Jesus when we call on Jesus, he will answer. Because when suicide is trying to sink in, no, it's not the way. Because you have a plan and purpose that God has placed in your life. Because look at me, if I would have killed myself at the age of 14, I would not be doing none of this, having the passion to do none of these things. Making videos and encouraging people and um, I went ahead and Never saw my daughter or be married, you know, if I would have took my life. And that's what the enemy is here for, to kill, steal, and destroy. Because he knows the path that is planned for our life. Even though that we're trying to understand our identity, 
or we cannot understand our identity until we connect ourselves with God. Connect ourselves with Jesus. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life that will guide us to our Heavenly Father. So that way we're we listening and grounded in the, the word, guarded in the word, grounded in the word, rooted in the word. And we will see how, I mean, a, we, people will see how the, the blossom and how God is working. Because like I said earlier, you you do not belong on the streets behind because of hurt or the lack of love or feel like, oh, this is the only way. God has better plans for your life. God has better plans for your life. And you're, you're better than looking at those pills every single day to medicate the pain. To put a, a blindfold from reality. To escape from life. Escape from Problems, escape from responsibility. You know, we are, we're going to have responsibilities. And as you grow, you're going to have plenty more, you know. Yeah, this world ain't getting no better. But it doesn't mean that you have to take your life. Because you never know. Who needed you? Or who you could help? Or who you never know? If we focus in so much on, oh man, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here, I don't wanna do this no more. But that's the enemy wanting you to put expired date on your life. That's the enemy. Call out on Jesus. Call out on God. Talk to your family. Talk to to somebody you can trust because in God's eyes your life is valuable because he, he created us so our life is valuable the enemy wants us to take our life so we will not see how amazing we can be and because life is too short you know and it's so important that we listen to our parents we listen to our grandparents we listen to our you know i mean our mentors we listen to the people that truly loves us, that has that advice that, you know what I mean, that can stick, you know? Just like the Word of God, it sticks. Once we get reading it, it sticks to our mind and stores in our heart. So when somebody trying to give us advice, true advice, because not everybody has good intentions, but when we can store good advice just like with me I store that paying bills first and take and I can do whatever 
else um, I can do? What else with the money? Responsibly. A store that, hearing it from my mom, going to my short term memory, connecting with my long term memory, and now connecting with my heart to store for long term. And that's what we need in life is that long term advice. Not just beating around the bush, not just um, stuff that's not going to stick. Because life is too short. And we see that the world's not getting any better. And we can't allow positivity to die. Even though bad is going to still be on the earth. But we got to be a part of that chain of change. Respons responsibly, respectfully, love, loving. And we, we put God first in all these things, you know? And if you don't have nobody in your life to, to listen, to give you that advice, call on God, call on Jesus. Because you're not alone. Because in his word it says that he'll never leave us or forsake us. But we just got to call on him. That we need help. Of teenagers out here that doesn't have, feel like they don't have nobody. <laughs> Ask God to send somebody. To help you. To guide you. Because he, he will... Help and guide when we call on him. But we have to to believe and trust on him. And if you want to give your life to to Jesus to God and want Jesus to come into your life. Just repeat this after me. How many father I just thank you. Jesus, come into my life. I repent of my sins. Lord God, I believe that you died on the cross and rose on the third day. That you died for sin, for our sins. And I believe in you. Lord God, transform me, renew me. I will follow you all the days of my life. Let me pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. And if you prayed it on um, prayer, you're saved. And this road is not going to be easy. But you have to turn away from your the wicked ways. Doing those things that you can't do anymore. That's not of God. Because God, he doesn't control us. He's not going to force somebody to follow. But we want to follow. Trust me, he got you. Because if he had me when I was 14. And had my mom to intervene. Because I was going to end my life. But now look at my look at me now. Doing the things of God. And it's just like with you. You can be doing amazing things when the time comes.
That's why it's important that we stay in the word and listen. So we got to be careful what are, what are we listening to. Because it brings on emotions. Brings on, you know what I mean? It affects how we feel. And we have to keep, we have to keep God near us. It goes for me and it goes for anybody else. We got to keep Jesus near us. Keep God near us. You know? And um, find a church that um, is teaching the right way. Teaching the right stuff about God. And if you want to um, come to the church that I go to, um, I go to Divine Ministry Four Square Church, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27406. I repeat again Divine Ministry. Four Square Church, Greensboro, North Carolina, 2746, and the address is 925 Edgemont Road, Greensboro, North Carolina, 2746. I repeat again, the address to the church is 925 Edgemont Road, Greensboro, North Carolina. 27406 is the church that I go to because I'm um, one of the leaders there. So, God got us, you know, and definitely keep uh, you in prayer, keep me in prayer. And this is, I mean, we encourage each other. Um, just continue to listen to your parents, listen to somebody that's giving you true advice. The advice, you know what I mean, that's going to help you to grow. Because God is going to send people that's going to give you true advice. Always. Because he wants us to grow. But the main thing is, are we listening? That's the main thing. Are we trying to do it on our own? Because, I mean, you know what I mean, as teenagers, we don't have all that wisdom, like, um, you know what I mean, uh, elders I have, and our, our parents will have, you know, they was born before us, so it, you can't expect it to know everything, and like you know everything, and when your parents are listening to God, God is going to help them to help you. Because, you know what I mean, the enemy wants us to not listen to our parents so he can get us to go down a different road, get us to go on the streets, get us to do these drugs and get us off the, the plan of God. That's what the enemy wants. But we are stronger. We are amazing when we stay in the hands of God. Staying on the instructions that our parents gave, our grandparents. People that gave us true advice to stick. And don't give up on your life, um, teenagers. Don't give up. Because if I didn't give up, I wouldn't be doing this video. So don't give up. I love you. God loves you. Peace. God bless. Keep your faith. Keep living. God is still with us. He loves us. Open my eyes.